Hello and welcome to the Pro Forma Models Single Family Residential Real Estate Investment Model Walkthrough. The README tab states the model purpose, highlights common use cases, and provides an overview of functionality, formatting, and all of the unique modules within the model. This tab also provides additional documentation, contact information, and a summary of additional products and services available from Pro Forma Models to support your analysis needs. The Assumptions tab drives the entire model and is fully customizable to your use case. The first assumption section is for general property information. The second assumption section is for acquisition assumptions such as the closing date, purchase price, closing costs, and annual appreciation. The third assumption section is for financing assumptions. The model has a dynamic debt schedule that allows for amortizing an interest-only mortgages, an amortizing loan with an interest-only period if applicable, fixed or floating interest rates, as well as the ability to utilize monthly and annual prepayments. The fourth assumption section is for operating assumptions, such as rent and other revenue items as well as operating expenses, such as taxes and insurance. The fifth assumption section is for capital expenses, which is the input for annual upgrades and repair items. The sixth and final assumption section is for the disposition assumptions. There are assumptions for closing costs, selling expenses, and commissions. The Pro Forma tab incorporates all assumptions into the pre-built formulas and compiles an income statement starting with revenues and subtracting expenses to determine the net operating income. This is followed by reductions for capital expenses and debt service broken down into principal interest, monthly prepay principal, and annual prepay principal to determine a final net income. The Pro Forma tab also includes a monthly reconciliation of the Pro Forma home value, cumulative principal paid, cumulative interest paid, and the outstanding debt balance. The Debt Schedule tab is completely dynamic and starts with a summary of the mortgage assumptions in the Loan Details section. The Debt Schedule is organized to break out each component, such as principal, interest, and prepayments so a user can see all components of their total payment. The model has the ability to reflect an interest-only period within an amortizing loan and also has the ability to utilize floating rate debt. The loan summary section highlights the impact of prepayments and in the preloaded example shows this loan was paid off in 210 months rather than 300 months through the use of monthly and annual prepayments. The data validation tab contains all controlled lists within the model and can be customized to your specific use. The output tab provides the decision-making output reporting based on the user-defined assumptions. The first section of the report provides a detailed sources and uses showing where money is coming from as either equity or debt, as well as what the money is being spent on. The second section of the output tab provides the levered and unlevered IRR and multiple of capital. The returns can be calculated on a dynamic schedule with up to a 20-year forecast. Following the return calculations, key metrics, such as annual rent growth, net operating income growth, outstanding debt balance, and implied equity, are presented in an easy-to-understand table. The third section provides a value attribution chart showing major one-time expenses incurred from acquisition through to disposition. The fourth and final section of the output report provides an annual balance of implied equity, outstanding debt, and pro forma home value. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this pro forma models walkthrough and encourage you to visit our website to try the model for yourself.